We will introduce the difference of the cylinder behavior using a speed controller and a deceleration controller. The above cylinder is controlled by a speed controller and air cushion built in, and the below one is controlled by using the deceleration controller only. Both cylinders are adjusted to actuate at the same timing. The above cylinder controlled by the speed controller had too much impact at the end and a ball placed on the table fell off. The below cylinder controlled by the deceleration controller has shock mitigation at the end and a ball remains on the table at the stroke end. Next, adjust the speed of a speed controller so that the ball does not fall. At the end of the stroke, the ball has not fallen, but the stroke time is long. Also, a piston started to move slowly since the speed controller is closed a bit. If the speed is increased any further, the ball will fall. In this way, the use of deceleration controller allows us to reduce cycle time and stroke end impact.